Hey guys, in this video, I want to do a quick review of the Rupes Dual Action Mini Polisher and answer two major questions. Number one, do I need this polisher and do you need this polisher? And number two, what are the best uses for this polisher? Now, before we get into all those details, make sure to go below in the YouTube description box and grab my free ceramic coating quick start guide where we walk you through as a beginner, not only how to begin in the paint correction world, but also how to begin in the ceramic coating world and more importantly than just hands-on training, we are showing you guys exactly how to cash flow this particular part of your business so you can start making money applying ceramic coatings and doing paint correction right away. Once again, the link is in the YouTube description box below. Now, as we move throughout this video, you are going to see me using the Rupes Dual Action Mini Polisher in a few different areas. Number one, the glass, of course, smaller areas as I'm doing some paint correction around some different vehicles. But we're just kind of showing you a little bit of clips here and there of where I actually use this polisher. Now, let's get into the first question. Do you, as a professional detailer or even as a hobbyist, need this polisher? That is the million dollar question because detailers are so famous for overspending and really kind of underperforming in their business. Let me explain to you when I think the perfect time to buy this polisher is. Number one, the first polisher that I think is most effective for a professional or a hobbyist to buy, and I'm just going to keep it in the Rupes world because I'm a big fan of Rupes and that's pretty much exclusively what I use. It is the Rupes 6-inch LHR 21 Mark III dual action polisher. That is a mouthful, but it's a 6-inch backing plate. It's their Mark III. Basically, it's their flagship dual action polisher. The reason why I suggest that particular polisher as what I would call like the flagship polisher of any detailer or just the first polisher you should purchase is really just because of the utility of it. If I have to pick, I'm thinking in terms of budget here, if I have to pick one polisher in order to start moving forward in the paint correction area of my business, I'm always going to go for that LHR Mark III 21 millimeter throw from Rupes. That one polisher is going to put me through any car I'm working on. The way I think about this is pretty simple. The mini polisher that I'm using here is not a necessity, but it becomes a necessity as your business grows simply because of things like time saving, my ability to work in small areas with more accuracy, with a little bit of a better finish, all that sort of stuff. But my point is the six inch Mark III that is kind of their flagship du dual action polisher, that is what is going to be what I'm using 90% of the time. So I open up the conversation saying it like that because I just want you guys to be aware of how I'm thinking about this. Now, when is it that you do take the dive into getting something like this mini dual action polisher here? Well, number one, for obvious reasons, the more paint correction you're doing, the more of a justification you have to get something like this because the first area where this polisher comes in handy and eventually kind of outweighs not having it is going to be these tiny areas that you see, for example, me working on right now around the trunk area, the glass, the windows, the, let's say, plastic, the headlights, the lower rocker panels, all of these really small areas. There comes a point in your detailing business where you're using your regular polisher. It's doing well. You know that it could be more convenient to get a smaller one. And at some point that t that scale tips and you realize, okay, by not getting this polisher and the mini one, that is, I am wasting more time than I'm saving because of the amount of, t of attention, the amount of kind of like contortion I'm having to do with my body to get in these small areas, the amount of focus I'm having to apply in order to get good results in these smaller areas. That's the first time I would say when that starts to happen, it's time to get the mini polisher. It becomes a time saving issue and ultimately a profitability issue. Now, the other way that I would look at this is there also comes a time where you realize, okay, yes, this six inch DA is doing well. It's taking me through 90% of what I need, but for that last 10%, for example, things like the lower rocker panels or those tighter areas where I'm having to use my six inch because I don't have a mini, I am not getting the results I want to be getting. What happens when I dial back the size of my backing plate and I go for this mini polisher? Well, what's happening is I'm able to focus in this really small area with a tool that is designed to fit that small area, and I'm able to get way, way better results in terms of swirl removal, basic oxidation removal, even just basic, basic surface level paint enhancement a lot quicker because what that tool allows me to do is dial in the work 
blocking area to this smaller space. When I have that six inch DA throwing around these tighter areas, much, 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 much more difficult to get the types of results that I want. The other thing to consider here is, for example, an area like you see right here, you've got the A and B pillars of a car. This area with that black plastic that gets really scratched up on the outside that separates the windshield from the passenger side window here that I'm polishing, that area is really, really difficult to polish, among other areas, without a miniature DA or even the area right here, kind of that area that separates the roof from the side of the car. You've got a roof rack on top of this Mini Cooper. It becomes really cumbersome to try to get those areas safely because when you have a 21 millimeter throw polisher with a six inch backing plate, that thing has got a lot of horsepower behind it. It's throwing that backing plate around like a dual action does, and you can kind of clip the roof rack, or you can kind of clip the uh, small little silver chrome area that lines all of the windows when you're using these bigger machines. And so these mini machines, once again, not only do they allow me to save time and ultimately money, not only do they allow me to get better results, but they allow me to stay virtually risk-free in these areas. I'm really, really safe in these areas because I'm just working with a tool that is designed to reach into these smaller areas. So that's some food for thought in terms of when do I get a polisher like this. Guys, remember in the YouTube description box below, I will be hooking up my favorite DA polisher here, which is the Rupes Mini, if you're going to go for that one, as well as the one I discussed earlier that I consider the most important one for any detailer. And I'll hook up the polish that I'm using in this video because I suggest it for all pro detailers. Remember, in the YouTube description box below as well, you will find that free five-part video series, The Ceramic Coating Quick Start, which is going to teach you guys exactly how to start applying ceramic coatings today. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you in the next video.